Didn't really think we'd finished metal work and were ready for paint, did you? I did, but we're not. <sighs> I've had a couple of days off because um, I was getting really tired. It's quite difficult doing this all the time. It's also that 30 degree day. I'm sure you'll all remember the 30 degree day. Well, that's today. Um, so I thought I'd come down and do a bit of welding because make us nice and comfortable, won't it? I did actually start doing a kind of prep work. So I was going around just linishing bits and cutting off old bits of like screw and stuff that held sound deadening down that weren't gonna be on there anymore. And then I looked at this front bar and I was kind of looking at, at pictures of the Group A cars and realized that I needed to do, do a load of stuff. I was basically going over it looking at everything on the car thinking is there going to be anything that once it's painted I'll be really upset about if I have to redo it and this was it. So it holds things like um, the radiator mounts and the intercooler mounts and things like that but the more I looked at pictures the more I realised that it actually holds the whole front of the car. So they have this big like aluminium bracket that holds the bumper up and it holds all the cooling packs and everything. As well as that, they actually change how it's held together. So normally it has this seam at the back. They cut it and pushed it round and welded it. So you can get the cooling pack right up to there and the air flows a lot better. The one thing with Skylines, if you use them on track, is they get hot. So if you're gonna do like a 40 minute race or something, you really need to have a good idea of what you're gonna do. Nissan had a pretty good idea, so I'll, I'll just copy that. Because they're hanging a lot more off it than I thought they were originally. It needs a bit more than riv nuts. So I ordered some, some weld nuts off eBay. Got these really big boys. They're gonna hold the front tow bar. They're actually gonna bolt all the way through and to stop the section from collapsing, we're gonna have a bit of this tube in between. And then all of the little ones for the radiators and stuff, I'm doing out of these M6 chaps and then the ones for the main brackets that hold the bumper on and stuff I've sorry I've already done them you get a lot more done when you don't film it and you just get on with it but I don't mind it's all right um so we've done those ones we've just got to do the other ones these will be boring but I'll let you watch anyway these will be a bit more exciting because we're going to put a tube in in the middle of it and then after this I, I promise we're going to paint it promise I'm not going to share this on on Facebook or Instagram or anything like that because I did say I was going to paint it, so we'll, ju we'll just keep this a secret, a secret video, and then the next one, the next one I'll, I'll really force onto people so they have to watch it. So this is the front cross member. Originally it had, so this, this flange stuck out about 15 mil, and it had two, two layers like that, so all I did was chop the inside layer off, fold the bottom one over, and then seam weld it along there stitch weld it, whatever, whatever you want to call it really, badly weld it. So now everything can go right up close to it and the brackets can just be the same as what they did basically. I've kind of marked out where I want things. Down here, right, right next to this plate, I want one for the oil cooler. There's gonna be one here and one here, that's for the radiator. And then these ones with the crosses on are for the tow hook. And I didn't measure this, just wanted to use M10 bolts to hold the tow hook on because sounds about right, doesn't it? As if, right? As if that fits in there. So that saves the job. I don't have to drill that. I only need to drill the top one. On the on the subject of material, I finally got that plate for gusting between the cage. There's a lot of really unhelpful people in the motorsport business, but to name a couple of really good ones, Walton Motorsport were really, really useful and put me onto some good people, and they've always been good. I've used them for um, some exhaust pieces, and I've bought Turbo Smart stuff off them, and they've always been excellent. So that's a, that's a positive. Um, another positive was DT Motorsport, who kind of tried to go out of his way to find some for me, even though there was nothing really in it for him. And then finally I got some from Robinson Race Cars. I don't know why I didn't email them in the first place, because they, they do deal with a lot of stuff like that, but the lady there emailed back within 10 minutes and sorted me out a piece, and it is absolute rocking horse shit in this country. Um, so that was really useful. So there you go, three positive, good people in the motorsport industry.
trying to avoid wearing any, well, PPE, I guess, at the moment. It's just hot, isn't it? Got to do a cost-benefit analysis on this sort of thing. Way up burning yourself to passing out in a unit. Getting your money's worth, that is. Time to get the old instruction manual out. This is what we're going for. Crystal, right? I know people have tried this long oil cooler thing and, and not had success with it. I'll give it a go anyway. Uh, so... Okay, they had three weld nuts on each one in a little triangle. I'm gonna get three of these ones, drill some holes, stick them on, job done, then we can get to the exciting one with that little chap on. Oh, it's warm. Oh, it's warm today. It is warm. Even the bench is warm. Just got to stick all of these to these. Has anyone else got one of those little boxes of nuts and bolts, like old scrap ones? And if you look long enough in there, you'll, you'll always find what you need and it never diminishes either. looking a bit holy at the moment isn't it so I've drilled these ones where it's gonna where the plates are gonna go because you know they've got three nuts haven't they I wish I had a good deburrer tool it's the one thing they don't even cost that much but usually if I'm if I'm on Amazon or something I talk myself out of it That's all right. I've just got this one up here to do, but you can't see it because you're looking down here. So I'll finish that one and then we'll start work on the, uh, the big tuby lads that we're going to tow it with when it breaks. Shouldn't be long. I've already drilled the holes up here. I did that a minute ago. So all I did was just use a square, trace it around, used a ruler. I've seen a ruler before, used a ruler and uh, drilled the hole on the back. So. Good, right? So that goes all the way through now. I've just got to figure out what to do in what order. I think I'm going to drop them through from the top with all the captives already welded on. And then I'm going to put a plate over the bottom here with a hole taken out to that and then weld it all together. 
in that box I was talking about earlier, I found a, a, the right bolt, obviously. So I'll use that one just for mocking up. So the deal will be, we're gonna have a hole in here. This tube's gonna come up. The captive nut's gonna be welded on the back. And then I'm gonna drop that all through from the top and then make the plate for the bottom. So I've already marked where the holes need to be. Just need to drill those. Do I make that hole big enough for this to pass through? Or do I just, I think I'll just put it up against the end of it. Or will I? No, I won't. I'll make it big enough for it to go through. Oh, that fits well, mate. Thanks, buddy. Right, we're on the home straight now. We just got these bottom, bottom two to do. So you can see it's finished because when the car's when the car's horizontal it means it's finished. Do you want to have a look? Here we go then, lovely job. Got the mounts for the front bar thingy, tow hooks, radiator thingy, oil cooler thingy, all sorts of thingies. I haven't really got a finale for you. Normally obviously we'd be able to put something shiny on it and then it will look really good and we can have an ending but short of just putting a bolt in there I haven't really got anything so. Cool, congratulations if you found the video. Well done to making it to the end. If you made it this far, you may as well like and subscribe as well. It's only fair, really, isn't it? I think it's all right. There was enough there to justify a video, wasn't there? There's not gonna be another one until paint now, I promise. So that'll be one or two weeks and then hopefully we'll have primer on the bottom of it. We'll make it all like Dexter in here and get all Bob Rossi on the bottom. So I'll see you then.